Well, hey, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg Sykes. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. And please consider subscribing to this channel. With that said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So, it's been reported from Puck, Puck News, that Jeff Bezos is out. He is not going to put in a bid for the Washington Commanders. I think, just like what I had said earlier, I felt that Jeff Bezos is going to hold out for the Seattle Seahawks. There's been talk about the Seattle Seahawks possibly coming up for sale sometime in 2024. So sometime next year, the Seahawks could be for sale. And in years past, Jeff Bezos' name has been linked to that franchise. And not necessarily so much to the Washington Commanders franchise. So I always felt that it was kind of a long shot for Jeff Bezos. Certainly his name was mentioned because he has been wanting an NFL franchise for quite a while. And what better way to get into the NFL than to buy your arch enemies franchise from him, you know, Dan Snyder. And plus, you know, it happened to be within his own area. He's a DC person, so naturally everybody were, you know, was putting connecting the dots together and coming up with the idea that Jeff Bezos was going to purchase the Washington Commanders. But it doesn't look like that this is really going to turn out to be the case. So, you know, as the the tweet says, Jeff Bezos is not in the bidding process for the Washington Commanders and is not currently planning to make a bid for the team, a source with direct knowledge tells Teddy Schaefer, Schaeffler. And, of course, um, you know, as I read some of the uh, comments on here, uh, good so Harris Group wins, right? I mean, you still got Stephen A. up there in um, Canada, who also put in a six billion dollar bid? So, and I, I really, I really thought that that the way that bids work is if one person puts in the bid, you can't have two people putting in two bids of the same price, right? I, I figured that you'd have to have another bid outbidding the other, but there you are. Anyway, um, you know, Steve Johnson here says. He was never interested in the Commanders. He's waiting for the Seattle Heat Seahawks to go and sell, and that's exactly what I've been saying all along. I really feel like that Jeff Bezos was waiting for the Seattle Seahawks. I think that is probably a more attractive team for Jeff Bezos, probably for many reasons. And... I think that maybe the D.C. area is too political for Jeff Bezos. Who knows? But honestly, the whole time I really felt that the Harris group was the better group anyway. The reasons is because, especially now since somebody like Magic Johnson has joined the group, someone who has had some experience and some success on the ownership level, I think he can bring something good to that ownership area, right? And also, of course, Harris himself has had experience owning sports franchises. And you also have a D.C. native uh, billionaire along with all of this as well who can really help to bring in, you know, that hometown feel to the ownership box. So to me, I think that the Harris group is, is the best out of, all of the groups. I don't know a lot about the Canadian billionaire, to be honest with you, and I, I never really had a, a good feeling about him. And that's not to say that he won't wind up being, you know, the winning bid. But again, it seems like the, that the Harris group was the one who put in their bid. They, you know, their, their bid's locked in, they're ready. I don't know what Dan Snyder is waiting for at this point. Maybe I really felt all along that he was waiting for Jeff Bezos to make his move. And Bezos said, 
you know what, I'm not interested. So, Dan, you're going to have to take $6 billion and be happy with the franchise. You're not getting a dime more than that. And I'm sure that Snyder was hoping that Bezos would at least put in some sort of higher bid to try to get some sort of bidding war. I'm sure that Dan thought that he could get the, the bids up to $7 billion. I, that's not going to happen at this point. Dan Snyder is going to have to accept $6 billion and go ahead and get this over with so that the new ownership can take over and start getting things done and moving along with the franchise. So I'm sure that come next next month, really in about a month's time, we will be hearing about probably the Harris Group. More than likely, it will be the Harris Group that will be taking over the Washington Commanders. Jeff Bezos is out, and honestly, I'm okay with that. I never really was a Jeff Bezos fan. I know that he had money, but other than the money, what really did he have? You know, does he have any knowledge with owning sports franchises? And that's really what it comes down to for me, is someone who has the drive to want to wanna own a sports franchise, and now you have someone along like Michael, uh, Michael, uh, Magic Johnson, who has come out and said that he wants a Super Bowl ring. So that tells me that there's a drive within that, that ownership group that wants a championship. They don't want to just own a team. They want a championship. They want to bring that to DC. So let's hear it for the Harris group. I think that that is the group that we're going to see as the next owner for the Washington Commanders. Let me know what you think in the comment sections below. Hopefully, we won't have too many more videos about ownership. I want to make some more videos about actual football, about our players. Let's let's talk about Chase Young. Let's talk about the draft because the draft's coming up really soon. I haven't talked about nothing with the draft. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, give it a share, give it a comment. With that said, I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.